Welcome to my channel dear students. This is a very important problem. Uh, for this the integral is there 0 to infinity sin t by t dt is equal to pi by 2. I had already posted uh, one method for this problem. I will solve it uh, another 5 different method and today uh, this method um, uh, I am proceeding uh, the Laplace transformation and I am to discuss about the some point of Laplace transformation about this problem. Okay see here is the solution. And you know, uh, for the Laplace transformation, um, that is uh, 0 to uh, infinity, that is sin t and dt, and this is equal to, uh, we can write 0 to infinity, that is Laplace transformation of sin t and ds, okay, and that is equal to 0 to infinity that is the transformation of last last transformation of sin t that is 1 over uh, a square plus 1 square and you know this is a simple integration that is tan inverse uh, is that is 0 to infinity and this is equal to pi by 2. For this problem uh, look like very easy but how it possible uh, this is uh, from this to this and this to this and this is the main point of this problem okay and this is the answer very easy solution uh, about this problem students see here uh, what is the Laplace transformation uh, what uh, possibly we get this from this and from this to this okay see for the Laplace transformation definition we can write Laplace transformation of uh, f of t and uh, this is equal to uh, we can write f of s and that is equal to limit t tends to infinity that is 0 to t f of t e to the power minus s t and dt okay and that is can be written as 0 to infinity f of t e to the power minus s t and dt okay so this is the uh, method of writing the Laplace transformation so first we want to Laplace transformation of sin t so for theoretical I am using here sin a t so the Laplace transformation of and uh, this is sin a t this is f of s and that is equal to we can write here and this is 0 to infinity see as uh, it is here f of a t so this is here f of a t this is here sin of a t so we can write here sin of a t into a t is equal minus a s t and dt so what is the value of that so uh, this value is called the Laplace transformation of sine of at okay so you know students in your class uh, you can easily solve this problem so see what is the solution of this problem let us assume as a i without limit sine at and this is e to the power minus ast and dt applying the integration by parts so that is here uh, sin of a t and the integration of uh, e to the power a t a t this is e to the power minus a t with respect to c this is here minus s so so from this uh, the derivative of this is here a into sin a t and the integration of uh, this is this is minus e to the power a t over minus s and and d t and this is equal to you can easily write uh, this is minus sin a t to the power minus s t over s and minus minus plus so this is 1 over s and integration of a by s sorry this is a by s a over s and this is uh, sin a t and e to the power minus s t and d t okay <clears throat> okay and this is equal to 
uh, c and this is equal to we can write i is equal to again apply the u into v method here so minus sin a t over s and it will be minus s t plus a over s and applying the again u into v method so as there we let us assume this is the first function same as okay okay here is a um, uh, okay derivative of this is okay this is here cos a t okay sorry mm, a by s so again i am applying the uh, integration bypass that is sin a cos a t and the integration of this is minus s t over minus s and same of uh, same as differentiation of cos of a t this is minus a uh, sin a t and the integration of this is uh, okay and this is here it will be minus s t over minus s and d t okay so this is equal to minus sin a t over s and it will be minus s t so this is here minus a over s square and cos of a t and it will be minus s t and c mm, this is minus minus plus okay this is minus minus plus and so it is minus a square by a square and this is actually and uh, this is integral so you have consider i so take common i here so i is equal to 1 plus a square over a square and this is minus <coughs> minus take common minus it will be minus a t and this is by s square by a square so uh, this is a time of sine a t plus plus a into cos a t okay so simplify then therefore the let us assume j is equal to the uh, original transformation of that so let us assume this is okay if we put here 0 to infinity okay put here 0 to infinity so again the right i is equal to this is um, minus e to the power minus s t over a square plus a square a is into uh, sin a t minus plus a cos a t okay so this is here Laplace transformation of sine and that is 0 to infinity sine a t into e to the power minus a t and d t and that is equal to minus e to the power minus a t over a square plus a square and this is sine of a t plus a cos a t and this is 0 to infinity okay so if we um, uh, the web approach to 0 infinity put here so whole thing is here on 0 so this is minus s t so 1 over weak number is equal to 0 so whole thing is 0 so they can minus minus plus if we put 0 so then e to the power 0 means 1 over a square plus a square if we put 0 then 0 if we put 0 then you got here a so this is a by a square plus a square and this is therefore the laplace transformation of uh, sine a t we can write here easily a over a square plus a square okay so therefore the laplace transformation of sine t so if we put here see the value of a here is one so one so one over so a square plus one square okay c so then you got the answer but uh, students see uh, your question is that is here uh, how can we could write here zero to infinity sine t by t is equal to that so you have to prove this point okay see carefully 
So the Laplace transformation of only sine t and it is here 1 over a square plus 1 square. Now need to prove and this equal to d. How can we write here? So need to prove. So the theorem here is 0 to infinity and f of t over t and dt is equal to 0 to infinity and Laplace transformation of uh, this is f of t and dt. So how can I write this form? So that from the definition we know uh, this is here 0 to infinity the Laplace transformation of f of t and ds and that is equal to the Laplace transformation of this value and this is 0 to infinity. So this is equal to actually integral of 0 to infinity and f of t and it is equal minus s t and dt here is ds okay so see this is a 0 to infinity so i want to integrate this function so the function are shifted from this here so f of t and this is dt so now right here the integral 0 to infinity this is it is by minus st and with respect to ds so what is the result of this actually 1 by s so see so 0 to infinity it is it is by st and ds so it will be minus st over minus t so this is a 0 to infinity so it can be written as like uh, if we put infinity so this is the large number it is 0 again minus over 1 over <coughs> if we put 0 so this is 1 in place of s we put 0 this is 1 so this is 1 over minus t so this is 1 over t so so this is here the result is here <coughs> 1 by t so it can be written as like 0 to infinity uh, this is f of t and the value of this is here 1 by t and dt so 0 to infinity and f of t over t and dt so this is a left plus transformation of only f of t so f of t so from this here we can write here uh, if we write here the Laplace transformation of sine of ds, so this is sine t by t dt. Okay, so this is the theorem. So therefore, the if it is zero to infinity, uh, zero to infinity, sine t over t and dt. So that is equal to the Laplace transformation of sin t 0 to infinity Laplace transformation of sin t and ds so this is the theorem which i write here okay thank you for watching my video everybody